the world is full of people of all different shapes and sizes, and that is what makes life so interesting. Being skinny isn't everything, but for some people it's their way of life. Join us as we take a look at the people who have taken their quest for thinness way too far, as well as the people who just can't help being naturally thin. From supermodels with rare health conditions to people who have taken plastic surgery way too far. Can you breathe? These are the 20 thinnest people you won't believe exist. Lizzie Velasquez. Meet Lizzie Velasquez. Lizzie was actually labeled as the ugliest woman in the world due to a rare condition she was born with. This condition affected her muscle and body fat development, making her appearance different from what people considered normal. It was a tough road for her, but despite the initial concerns from doctors, Lizzie surprised everyone by developing normally in terms of her brain, internal organs, and bones. However, at the age of four, she experienced blindness in her right eye, adding another challenge to her journey. Throughout her life, Lizzie faced relentless bullying and had to endure the overwhelming pain of being called the ugliest woman alive. But you know what? Lizzie didn't let that define her. With the support of her amazing parents, she found the strength to move past the negativity and focus on something positive. Lizzie dedicated her life to speaking out against cyberbullying and negative body image. She became a true inspiration, spreading her message of true beauty far and wide. In fact, she gave a popular TED talk that resonated with people all over the world. Her words were so powerful that she quickly became an internationally sought after motivational speaker. But Lizzie didn't stop there. She channeled her experiences and insights into writing three incredible books that have inspired countless individuals. And that's not all. Her story even inspired a film called The Lizzie Project. What an inspiration. Go Lizzie. Tom Staniford. This is the incredible story of Tom and his journey with MDP syndrome, an incredibly rare and complex condition. After extensive research, scientists were finally able to track down the genetic origins of this syndrome, which only affects a total of eight people in the entire world. Yep, just eight people have MDP. Tom's condition has some significant challenges. Due to MDP syndrome, he lacks natural cushioning on his body experiences constant discomfort in his feet, and faces a higher risk of bone fractures from falls. As if that wasn't enough, his disorder has led to abnormally high levels of fat in his blood, ultimately resulting in diabetes. It's truly a tough situation for him, but here's the remarkable part. Tom, despite everything he has been through, has never allowed his condition to hold him back. This guy is 6 feet 3 inches tall and weighs 66 kilos, and he's a cyclist. In fact, back in 2011, he made history by becoming the youngest solo cyclist to be crowned the British National Paracycling Circuit Race Champion. What an achievement! When Tom was born, he was normal height. However, as he grew up, he gradually lost all the fat around his face and limbs. Additionally, his hearing deteriorated during childhood, leading him to wear hearing aids. To add to the challenges, he also has fused bones in his hands and feet. But none of these setbacks have stopped him from becoming one of the world's best paracyclists. You know what they say, you can do it if you put your mind to it. Iona Spangenberg Meet Iona Spangenberg, the extraordinary 30-year-old model from Romania. She's earned quite a nickname for herself as the human hourglass because of her incredibly tiny 20-inch waist. Iona claims that her shape is entirely natural and that she hasn't been able to alter it since her teenage years, despite trying different diets and exercises. She stands at approximately 5 feet 7 inches tall, but surprisingly she weighs only 85 pounds. Now, here's the interesting part. Despite her seemingly delicate frame, Iona insists that she eats three meals a day. Her meals include a variety of foods like pizza, chocolate, toast with jam or eggs, sausage, chicken, potatoes, bread, and meat, and even cheese sandwiches. However, concerns have been raised about Iona's potential anorexic condition due to signs of malnutrition. It's natural to be worried about her well-being, considering her extremely low weight. Despite these concerns, Iona says that she's genuinely happy with her super lean figure, even though she has faced bullying in the past because of it. Interestingly, during her teenage years, she actually wanted to gain weight. 
However, after getting married, she started feeling comfortable with her figure and gained the confidence to pursue a career in modeling. We've never seen a real life human hourglass before. Kathy Jung. Let us introduce you to Kathy Jung, an extraordinary woman who holds the record for having the smallest waist in the world. When corseted, her waist measures an astonishing 15 inches, while it measures 21 when she's not wearing a corset. Whoa, that's tiny. Kathy's journey towards achieving this remarkable waist size began when she started wearing a training belt at the age of 38. With patience and dedication, she gradually reduced her waist from 26 inches. Since 1983, she has committed to wearing a corset for a staggering 23 hours a day, only taking it off briefly during her daily shower. What's intriguing is that Kathy doesn't follow any special diet or exercise regimen to maintain her waist size. Her motivation for wearing corsets stems from her passion for Victorian clothing. It's an expression of her personal style. Kathy has never undergone any surgical procedures to define her waist or remove any ribs. She has chosen to rely solely on the corsets as her method of achieving her desired waist size. Despite her many years of wearing corsets, Kathy claims that she hasn't experienced any significant health issues. To monitor her well-being, she undergoes frequent x-rays to ensure everything is in order. Kathy and her husband have traveled the world thanks to her tiny waist. They've made guest appearances on TV shows in Tokyo, and Kathy has been featured in prominent publications like the New York Times Style Section and Life Magazine. In fact, Kathy even attended the Versace show at the annual Metropolitan Museum of Arts Costume Institute party. Kathy is a true record breaker. Valeria Levitin Valeria Levitin has gained attention across the globe for being the thinnest woman in the world. Due to years of extreme dieting, she weighs a mere 4 stone, which is equivalent to 56 pounds. It's an incredibly low weight that raises concerns about her well-being. In fact, even Valeria herself believes that her emaciated figure should serve as a wake-up call for girls who aspire to have extremely thin bodies. She wants to shed light on the dangers and potential harm that come with pursuing such extreme weight loss goals. Valeria stands at a height of 5 feet 8 inches, according to the National Health Service guidelines. Her weight should ideally fall between 138 and 142 pounds. However, Valeria's weight is only about 60 pounds, which is less than half of what her lightest heavy weight should be. There's no doubt about it, it's extremely important to recognize that Valeria's situation is a concerning one. Extreme weight loss and restrictive eating can lead to a severe health complications, both physical and mental. So, make sure you listen to Valeria's warning and don't end up like her. Michelle Kobke this is Michelle Kobke, a 24-year-old woman from Berlin who has been taking extreme measures to achieve a tiny waist. By wearing a corset every day for three years, even while sleeping, she has managed to reduce her waist from 25 inches to an astonishing 16 inches. Michelle's goal is to further shrink her waist to 14 inches, as she finds her incredibly small waist unique and appealing. However, her dedication to wearing the corset constantly has had significant consequences to her body. The muscles in her back and stomach have wasted away, making it difficult for her to stand without the corset providing support. Due to the constricted nature of her stomach, Michelle is unable to eat normal-sized meals. Instead, she consumes up to 10 small meals throughout the day. This limited food intake is a direct result of her tightly corseted waist. It really doesn't sound worth it, does it? Concerns have been raised by medical professionals regarding the potential health consequences of Michelle's extremely small waist. Digestive issues and weakened lungs are among the potential risks she faces due to her constricted waist. We think these corsets sound like a pretty terrible idea. Valeria Lukanova Yep, it's the one and only Valeria Lukanova, also known as the Human Barbie. This Ukrainian model, internet sensation, and singer has taken the world by storm with her striking resemblance to the iconic Barbie doll. Born in 1985 in Tiraspol, Moldova, Lukanova began her modeling career in Ukraine. However, it was through a series of extensive cosmetic procedures that she truly became a sensation. Valeria has undergone various surgeries, including breast augmentation, rhinoplasty, and even the controversial iris implant, in her pursuit of achieving a doll-like appearance. While there has been speculation about her use of photo editing and digital manipulation to enhance her online presence, 
she has garnered a significant following on social media platforms. Beyond her unique appearance, Lukanyova has also ventured into the music industry, releasing several singles as a singer. Her online persona and lifestyle have attracted attention from documentary filmmakers and interviewers. We can't say we are surprised. Valeria has also expressed a fascination with spirituality, extraterrestrial life, and conspiracy theories, adding another layer of intrigue to her persona. Yep, the human Barbie is a believer in aliens. Now, why doesn't that surprise us? Daddy Longneck Meet Daddy Longneck, an Instagram star who has gained fame by embracing his genetic disorder, Marfan Syndrome, and promoting body diversity through his content. With over 1.6 million followers on Instagram, Daddy Longneck is an American social media personality who shares self-deprecating content about his condition and appearance. Yep, his friends call him Spaghetti Boy, and by the looks of it, he's really leaning into his nickname. Daddy Longneck rose to popularity in 2018 when he collaborated with Charles McDowell, widely known as Wide Neck. Together, they created comedic rap tracks that quickly went viral, amassing over 8 million views in less than two months. Wow, Marfan Syndrome, the genetic disorder, has effects on the body and connective tissues, and it can impact various parts of the body, such as the skeleton, eyes, heart, and blood vessels. Daddy Longneck faced challenges growing up with Marfan Syndrome, including the use of a feeding tube for extra nutrition, as his condition made it difficult for him to gain weight. You can find Daddy Longneck on various social media platforms, including Instagram with the handle at Longneck, as well as Snapchat and TikTok. His content provides a glimpse into his daily life, including raising his young son. Yes, Daddy Longneck is in fact a real daddy. Beyond his online presence, Daddy Longneck's real name is David Samuelson Jr., and he hails from Flint, Michigan. And it looks like he's showing off his rare condition, and it's really paying off. Daddy Longneck has an estimated net worth of around $1 million, according to some sources online. Macy Curran Let us introduce you to Macy Curran, a remarkable 17-year-old from Cedar Park, Texas, who has made her mark in the Guinness World Records 2021 book as having the world's longest female legs and the longest legs of a teenager. This girl is taking having skinny legs to a whole new level. Her left leg measures an astonishing 53.255 inches, while her right leg measures 52.874 inches, making her leg stretch almost a meter and a half in length. Macy comes from a relatively tall family, but none of her siblings or parents match her extraordinary height. Standing tall at 6 feet 10 inches, her legs make up a remarkable 60% of her total height. Instead of letting her height be a hindrance, Macy pursued the record title to inspire other tall individuals to embrace their height. Long-legged people unite. Despite facing bullying for her height, Macy has developed a strong resilience and no longer allows others' opinions to affect her. While the challenge of having long legs include fitting through doorways and finding well-fitting clothes, Macy has also found advantages in sports, such as playing on her high school's volleyball team. Hey, every cloud has a silver lining, right? Macy discovered her longer-than-average legs in 2018 when someone offered her custom leggings due to her difficulty finding ones that fit. This discovery prompted her to pursue the Guinness World Records title for the world's longest legs on a female, which she now proudly holds. You go, Macy! Not only is Macy recognized for her incredible legs, but she also has gained popularity on TikTok, where she creates videos highlighting her record-breaking attributes. Looking ahead, her future goal is to attend college in the UK and achieve the record for being the world's tallest professional model. The sky really is the limit. Anne Ward Anne-Marie Ward is an accomplished American fashion model and the winner of Cycle 15 of America's Next Top Model way back in 2010. Originally from Prosper, a small suburb near Dallas, Texas, during her time in school, Anne faced mockery and struggled with self-confidence due to her height and slim figure. However, her thin frame caught the attention of the top model judges during auditions, standing tall at 6 feet 2 inches with an extremely thin waist. She stood out among the other contestants, and Tyra Banks, the host of the show, expressed interest in her. Now, there was a bit of controversy surrounding the show before it aired, as a trailer gave the impression that Tyra was endorsing overly skinny models. However, Tyra later clarified that it was a result of editing and apologized for any confusion caused. 
In 2015, the New York Post recognized Anne as one of the 10 most fascinating contestants in ANTM's history. She's also received recognition from Marie Claire, which included her in a list of the 24 Best America's Next Top Model contestants. The magazine praised her charisma and highlighted her ability to shine despite any physical awkwardness she may have felt. Who said models can't be interesting? And now it's time for our open discussion. These creepy images have been haunting the dreams of the online community, and we can see why. With gaunt faces and long slender limbs, these figures are like something straight out of a horror movie. But are these real people or disturbing works of art? These days, it's kind of hard to tell. So what do you guys think? Let us know by using the hashtag open discussion in the comment section below. Number 10. Skipped Leg Day Ryan Murdoch is known for his fitness videos on TikTok, but despite having muscles for days, there seems to be one area of his body that he's neglected to train, his legs. As you can see in this strange yet hilarious video, Ryan's legs are extremely thin, causing thousands of online commentators to go into a meltdown. Could it be any more obvious that Ryan has skipped leg day? We think not. In fact, we don't think we've ever seen legs this skinny before. We're not even sure how this is possible. So the next time you're in the gym, remember, everyone has areas of their body that they feel self-conscious about. We're only human after all. And don't skip leg day. Pixie. Pixie has actually been banned by doctors from having any more plastic surgery. After undergoing over 200 procedures to resemble a living cartoon, despite the fact that medical professionals have warned her away from the operating theater. Pixie Fox declares that she is proud of her looks and never really felt human anyway, preferring to look like a fantasy creature. So what exactly has Pixie done to her body to look more like an animated idol? Well, she has had six ribs removed for a more cartoonish figure, a complete face reconstruction, cheekbone reductions, brow lifts, and an eyelash transplant amongst other procedures. She's also traveled all the way to India to receive a dangerous operation that changes the color of your eyes, something which is banned in the US for being too risky. Yep, it's official you guys, trying to become a living cartoon is definitely not worth the risk. Su Naying Meet Su Naying, a woman from Myanmar who claims to have a naturally tiny waist and aspires to win the world record for the world's smallest waist. Unlike many previous record holders who have used corsets or undergone plastic surgery, Su Naying states that she was born with a super thin waist and has not undergone any surgical procedures. Her waist measures a remarkable 13.7 inches or approximately 35 centimeters. However, Su Naying has faced negative comments and accusations of photo alteration and rib removal from online commentators. Despite this, she maintains that her waist size is entirely natural and may have been inherited from someone in her family. Hmm, we're not too convinced. To maintain her waist shape and overall health, Su Naying says she eats nutritious food and engages in regular exercise. These practices contribute to her overall well-being while maintaining her waist size. So, what do you guys think? Is Su Naying as naturally skinny as she claims to be? Collarbone Fish Tank Challenge have you ever heard about the bizarre trend called the fish in collarbone challenge? It's been making waves, particularly among women where they pour water into the hollow area of their collarbones and place live fish in there to flaunt how skinny they are. Yikes. Yep, that's extremely weird. Believe it or not, this peculiar fitness challenge was emerging in China about three years ago. But it recently went viral on social media across other Asian countries. These kinds of challenges have gained immense popularity in China in recent years, as people have taken to social platforms to showcase their physique. However, this particular challenge has to take the cake for being one of the silliest ones yet. Firstly, using the depth of a person's collarbone indentation as a measure of their fitness level is pretty unreliable, considering everyone has different body types. Now, despite the obvious lack of logic behind the fish and collarbone challenge, it gained quite a following in China a few years ago. In fact, a water park in Chongqing even organized a contest where women were invited to place live fish in their collarbone indentations for a chance to win free tickets. We live in a weird, weird world, people. Melanie Gatos Meet Melanie Gatos, an extraordinary 28-year-old model who has risen to global fame despite facing the challenges of living with 
ectodermal dysplasia. This genetic disorder has resulted in her being toothless, bald, and having a bilateral cleft palate, as well as alopecia, which inhibits natural hair growth. Despite her unconventional looks, Melanie is quickly becoming a world-famous supermodel. However, she has faced challenges and hasn't always been treated with respect by the fashion industry. It took six years of perseverance and hard work before she felt she was finally being taken seriously. What sets Melanie apart is her refusal to conform to social expectations. She adamantly refuses to wear dental implants or a wig, embracing her unique appearance with confidence. Her striking and distinctive look has led to opportunities in avant-garde and high fashion styles. And she's even walked in multiple New York Fashion Week shows, as you can imagine. Social media, particularly Instagram, has played a significant role in changing attitudes towards Melanie. She credits sharing her life and experiences through social media as a way to build confidence and connect with others who appreciate her uniqueness. Yep, social media can be a positive influence sometimes. With over 121,000 followers on Instagram, she uses the platform to not only showcase her modeling work, but also to share insights into her life. We love an unconventional supermodel. Diana Ringo This is Diana Ringo, a 39-year-old mother from San Diego, California, who has made wearing corsets a part of her daily routine. Diana wears a corset for 23 hours a day to maintain her 18-inch waist. Sounds pretty uncomfortable, right? She began wearing waist-shrinking corsets almost three years ago after losing her natural curves following the birth of her twin boys. Rather than opting for traditional methods like diet and exercise to lose the weight gained during pregnancy, Diana chose to start wearing corsets. She's accumulated over 45 corsets in her wardrobe, totaling 1,400 pounds, to help her maintain her tiny waist and hourglass figure. This woman is an official corset addict. She typically wears a dress size between 2 to 4, however she takes in the waist of her dresses to accentuate her accomplishments in corset training. Initially, Diana's husband, Brett Ringo, had concerns about her strict corset training. However, over time, he came to terms with her new image and way of life, and has learned to love her new style. There really is someone out there for everyone. Eugenia Cooney Now, you might have already heard of Eugenia Cooney. She's an American YouTuber and internet personality known for her presence on platforms like YouTube, YouNow, and Twitch. Eugenia began live streaming on You Now and created her YouTube channel in 2011, amassing over 2 million subscribers. Eugenia's content revolves around various themes, including emo and gothic looks, clothing hauls, beauty, cosplay, and vlogs documenting her daily life. One of Eugenia's YouTube videos titled How to Ratchetly Twerk gained viral attention in 2013, contributing to her online presence and popularity. Throughout her life, Eugenia has faced bullying and switched schools multiple times. Eventually, she opted for attending an online school during her high school years. While she briefly pursued modeling in New York, she decided to focus on her online career after feeling overcontrolled in the industry. Now, in recent years, concerns about Eugenia's weight loss and health have been raised. Since 2015, discussions surrounding her well-being have surfaced online. And you can see why. In early 2019, Eugenia took a break from her online presence to work on her health privately. She also entered a month-long treatment program. During this time, she addressed her eating disorder and discussed her recovery process in a YouTube video titled The Return of Eugenia Cooney, which was part of a Shane Dawson series. Eugenia's story is without a doubt a sad one and a warning about the perils of being too skinny. No food in 70 years. This is the incredible story of Praha Jani, a man who claims to have abstained from eating or drinking since World War II, spanning over 70 years. This astonishing feat takes meal skipping to an entirely new level. Jani boasts remarkable abilities, walking long distances through the jungle effortlessly, meditating for extended periods, and appearing like a superhero in his own right. Move over, yoga masters, we have a fascinating guru among us. Now, you might be wondering, is this even possible? According to medical science, humans cannot survive without water for more than a week and without food for a few months. However, Johnny insists that he receives sustenance from the Hindu goddess Amba, who secretly provides him with an invisible elixir that keeps him going strong. Forget meal prepping, we could all use some of that goddess-powered sustenance. The scientific community, including doctors and military scientists, are left perplexed by Johnny's extraordinary fasting abilities. 
They even conducted a 15-day observation on him, during which he consumed no food or water, yet experienced no ill effects. Pretty weird, huh? Well, let's be realistic here. Johnny's claims are extraordinary and not easily accepted. While it's intriguing to entertain the idea of surviving without food or water, why would you want to? It's also important to approach these claims with skepticism. Until we have solid evidence and a better understanding of Johnny's fasting abilities, it's best to continue enjoying our meals and staying hydrated. So while Johnny's story is fascinating, let's take it with a pinch of salt. Hmm, french fries sound pretty good right about now. Number 2. Ethel Granger Ethel Granger, renowned for having the smallest waist in history, was heavily influenced by her husband, William Arnold Granger. Her incredibly narrow waist, which measured a mere 13 inches, earned her a place in the Guinness Book of World Records. As the story goes, William had a strong preference for women with a small waist. Surprise, surprise. And he believed that fashion played a role in shaping intimate thoughts. Before their marriage, Ethel used to wear shapeless 1920s dresses that William disliked. He then introduced her to corsets and expressed his desire for her to have a smaller waist. Sounds pretty controlling, right? Maybe Ethel should think for herself. Ethel then embarked on a journey of gradually reducing her waist size through the use of her corsets. Over time, she achieved the legendary waist measurements of 13 inches, which was officially documented in the Guinness World Records. The Grangers embraced a subculture that thrived during the late 1920s, 30s, and 40s. Their unique lifestyle and unconventional approach to fashion set them apart from the mainstream society of their time. Of course, nowadays Ethel would be just another woman embracing an alternative look and lifestyle, but hey, things were different back then. Lightest Woman in the World Lucia Zarate, born on January 2, 1864, was a Mexican entertainer who had dwarfism and performed in sideshows. She was the first person identified with Majuski osteodysplastic, primordial dwarfism type 2, a very rare condition. At the age of 17, Zarate held the Guinness World Record as the lightest recorded adult, weighing only 4.7 pounds. Yes, you heard that right. 4.7 pounds. A human being. Remarkably, she achieved her full growth at the age of one year, according to an 1894 article in the Strand magazine. Pretty incredible, right? When Zarate was 12 years old, she moved from Mexico to the United States. She was exhibited for her small stature and often performed alongside Francis Joseph Flynn, also known as General Might. She was one of the world's tiniest celebrities. Tragically, Zarate met her end in 1890 due to hypothermia. Her circus train became stranded in the snowy Sierra Nevada mountains, and she never made it back home. Still, her tiny legacy lives on to this day.